Hello there, good morning everyone. Hope we're all fine and dandy this morning. Um, busy already, aren't we? We have Alex in first. Morning Alex and Angela and Angela on YouTube as well, live on Facebook and on YouTube this morning. Um, sunny in Liverpool and dry in Leicestershire. It's quite nice here actually. We're going to go for a nice long dog walk after we finish the live this morning. Morning Leslie and Zell. Sorry if I miss anybody. Morning Caroline. Um, oh, oh, it's a bit soggy in South Knots. Might be heading this way. Uh, morning Diane on, um, on YouTube and Jennifer and Stephen. Happy Saturday to you too. Um, morning Carol. Morning Country Music. Geraldine. Oh, how lovely. Well, it's nice. We're so busy this morning. Now, I've got a few new things to show you on the website because we're always getting new stuff in. I want you to be the first to know. Um, hello, Karen in Maryland, USA. And uh, Welsh Mary. Hello, Debbie. Oh, gosh, so many of you here today already. Wow. Right, I'm just trying to organise my screens. So just bear with me one second while I do that and do that. And then I can fit you all on at the same time. Oh. That. Yeah, there we go. Um, hi, Shirley. Um, hi, Carrie Anne and Angela in Southern Ireland. We've got a few Angelas this morning, haven't we? Uh, but I'm going to make a, a really easy double pocket purse this morning with some of the new fabrics we've got. But I want you to have a look. Oh, we've got sound at our end, Helen. I, I, I think it's. Um, I think that might be a problem with you, but you can't what I'm saying if you've got no sound anyway. Um, dropping the heating off. Oh, morning in from Massachusetts, Liz. Who likes me, Elephant Fabric? Um, right, let me show you what we've got, first of all. Um, hello, Rina in Nigeria as well. The Elephant Fabric that you like, this is actually the Japanese Not Bag Kit. It's a reversible bag and it's back in stock. Um, so we sold out, I think we only brought this, was it last Saturday we brought this to you? And we sold out virtually straight away. We have got more stock in at the moment. So in the kit, you'll have your pattern is just for the handle um, and then you can use all of the remaining fabric um, to make up the bag. If you, the pattern is available on its own as well so if you just wanted to make this from fabric of your own you'll need, um, you could squeeze it out of half a metre of each of two fabrics if you're very careful with your pattern but that's that, I just thought I'd show you because it's back in stock so it went so quickly um, and new things, we've got another couple of colour options in that one as well but new things we have for you, look at these. Organic fabrics. Oh, let me tidy my, uh, my desk up a little bit. That's a little bit messy for you, isn't it? Um, right, these are beautiful. I, get, I can't remember what they're called or how much they are because we get so much new stuff on the website all the time. But if you take a look under new on the website, um, you'll see them on there as well. But organic cotton. And there's three in the range, which goes so well together. Hello, Julie in Chicago. Hi, Kim. Hi, Sue. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Kim. Debbie, Kim and Dave. Oh. Uh, Dismal in wherever Lynn is. This one's got um, um, what they're called, lilies. Orchids. The ones that go on water. You know the ones I mean. Um, oh, Dorothy's made a Japanese. Oh, send us photos, Dorothy, if you're not bag. Um, so there's that one. I'm going to use these to make my purse with as well, or two of them. And then there's this one as well. And actually they work really well with pink if you wanted a plain to go with it. This is a pink from the, um, the pastel bundle and it actually works really well together. So I'm going to be using that on the inside of my pocket as a lining. Hello Michelle in France and Pam P from USA. Thank you very much. Hi Nancy in South Africa. Hi Shirley Ann, Reese says it's cold in Sheffield. <gasps> they're lovely, aren't they? And uh, they're quite, quite different, I think, but very pretty. So the one with the, um, the lilies or the orchids or whatever we're calling them are directional. These two are non-directional, so those are the two that I'm going to be using for my purse. Now then, look at this one, rainbow fabric. So much you can do with these. And we have the rainbow um, D rings back in stock again. Let me take these out and show you. We don't have the swivel snaps and sliders back in yet, but they are on order. Hello, Ruby in Transmania. Hello, Ruby. Hello, Ruby in Transmania. Lindsay's having a full English. Um, 
but look they're all rainbow color they're all metal as well they're really nice quality you can hear that um, but these would go so well if you're using the rainbow fabrics to make a bag with hmm? and um, I said the others the other hardware is on order so we've got bag feet in the rainbows but the uh, the swivel snaps and sliders are on order now those are so pretty and do you know we've been selling so much of the brightly colored fabrics lately I think it's it's cheery isn't it puts everybody in a happy place um, right we've got some more fabrics I've got something really exciting for you as well but coming up to that these are um, linen mixers and these are so pretty I mean this I think would make such a lovely blouse or a lightweight dress for summertime so it's quite a loose weave as it's a linen mix hello Marie in South Africa um, oh it is a bit like tie-dye in Jenny been doing some of that lately um, but it's breathable and it's it's pretty and it's fresh and you know the kind of thing because we're gonna get a hot June apparently the kind of thing that you're gonna want to be wearing next to your skin um, in the warmer weather if you prefer planes we've got these two as well which actually go that, they all go really nicely together so if you wanted to make you know maybe a blouse with a blouse in the taupe color and then pockets in the uh, in the white would look really good hello princess morning star in Michigan and oh Eileen from Bromyard in Herefordshire I used to have an uncle lived in Bromyard I'm going back a long time because he died probably oh about 50 years ago um, and he used to carve things like he was a bit of a devil because he grew tobacco in his shed as well which is completely illegal um, but he used to carve animals out of wood he made um, uh, Heref uh, the Herefordshire bull I think I'm right but the whole the cows the calves the bulls um, it, it taught me how to make a penguin which I've still got some of it carved out of wood like this oh it's taken me about quite a long way that one um, Kate's on a narrow boat oh she's moored up to see us at least we're not wobbly as you uh, like is it a bit choppy on the waters today um, hi Suzanne in Cornwall and Shona hello to you too um, Hi Jenny in Tas oh, she's a Taswegian as well. Right, now this one is the one that I think you're going to get excited about. We have mulberry trees back in stock. Oh yes, it's taken months and months and months to get hold of these. So we have put together um, a bundle of two half meters. These are 140 centimeters wide and they're canvas. These are perfect for bag making. Oh, do you remember the bag behind me that I made? That was from um, the Half Yard Club, the everyday bag using a tree fabric. I think it was around about that time we sold out of it completely, but we got it back. And there's enough of the two of those to be able to make a bag like that. Um, but I'm thinking it's a bit stiff, but it goes softer when you wash it. So if you wanted to make cushion covers, that would be amazing. Um, if you wanted to make chair covers, um, you know, like your dining chairs where you just cover the, the pad in the middle and staple it underneath. It's a really good, strong fabric. So I'm not expecting these to last very long, to be honest. Um, so if you're one of the many people that have been waiting so long for them, they're here right now. And for the first time, we have these available by the half metre. So if you wanted more, um, so if you wanted a metre, say, if you wanted to make a curtain or something, order two units and you'll have, um, you can either go for the, um, I think we're calling it cream, can't remember, um, or the dark grey one or the other and those will all come in one piece as well it's first time we've done that now if you're going to go for the the pair together you can pattern match them and i think this works really well so you can match up your trees now th they should because it's the same print match up perfectly first time you may need to ease some of the fabric slightly to make them match but i think that makes a big difference as opposed to just that, doesn't it? It actually looks like one piece of fabric and it's changed colour as it moves down. Um, the way I would do it, and I find this the easiest way, is literally what I've just done here. So if you take your two pieces, cut as much as you need to for whatever it is you're making, and then fold the bottom one over along the same spot, so you've got the same distance from the top of each of the trees, and then place this over, so satisfying as well, Place this over the second half. You see that doesn't quite match, so I'm going to pull it to make it match. And that's absolutely fine. A bit more up. 
and then I'd top stitch. So I wouldn't sew right sides together to make a seam. I'd just top stitch across the top of there. And you, you know that that's going to match perfectly then because you've matched it. If you do want to make a seam, then the easiest thing to do is to do exactly what I've done here. Make a crease there. And then when you open this up, oh, actually, no, 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 we don't do that. You're going to put some glue across the back of it. You know, like your um, fabric glue pens. I haven't got one with me. But put your fabric glue pen across there and stick it down. And then when you open it up, you can sew across the seam. And you know that it's in exactly the right place because you've glued it. So, so excited about that. I Because I, I, I don't do the ordering for the website. That's, um, that's Kim, my daughter's job. Um, but everything's delivered to our house before it goes to the warehouse because this is where we have a studio for photography. So for everything to go on the website. So it's quite a surprise when um, deliveries arrive because I don't know what's going to be in the boxes. And when I saw this one, I just thought, I'm so pleased we've got this back. So pleased. It's been so popular. It's one of my favourite fabrics that we've ever done. Anyway, gushing about that one a little bit. And I've still got a, a couple of things to show you. Um, hello, Sandy in New Zealand. Thank you very much. Angela's in Somerset. Oh, it's cold. It's rainy and coldy in Austria, apparently. This is Andrea. Um... Has it frozen? I haven't. I'm, I'm all right, Julie. I'm not frozen. Um, on TV and your iPad on. Oh. Sue's got another pink bag. Um, hello from St. Lucie, says Deborah. Still dark in Florida this morning. <laughs> Thank you, Elaine. Um, right. We, do you remember, um, if you were with us on Wednesday, we've had some very posh items on the website. So we've had the black and gold um, cutting mat, ironing mats, and the, the black and gold magnetic pin um, cushions. We've got, we've got more posh things for you. So posh voices on for this one, please. We've got a sewing kit. Look at this. So let me see if I can take this out without spoiling the packaging. Because uh, it's not mine to keep. There we go. What a lovely gift this, was, this would be. For somebody you know who's you've got to be posh, you've got to be posh to use this one. Um, let's open it up. And you've got scissors. We have, um, I think that's needles, quick and pick, tape measure, press studs. It's like a little emergency kit, but it's a really sweet little sewing kit. If you're um, stocking up for Christmas, I know we're not in June yet, but you know, we like to get these things in early. That just makes a lovely little gift. And it's all padded as well. It's lovely. Um, now we've got, we've got posh pin cushions. We've got posh tape measures. We now have posh pins. Ooh. These are glass. And Hemline are using non-plastic in all of their um, packaging now. So that's, that's, that's quite nice to know as well. So we've got black glass-headed pins and we have white glass-headed pins. Uh, grey fuddies, uh, grey cap. Mm. I shall ask these ones. I'll ask him to order some. They're normally pretty quick at coming through. So, um, Sarah, keep watching this space and hopefully they'll be here early next week. 5 a.m. in Texas. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Samantha and Angela. And Claudia in Sydney. Beautiful posh pin. One has to have posh pins, you know. Posh pins, posh sewing kits, posh sewing accoutrements is what we like. Only when we're feeling posh. When we're feeling common, we don't have anything like that. Um, hello, Judy in Germany. Oh, Debbie's got lots of posh bits. We, we had heard, Debbie, about your posh bits. I was um, chatting to Gary, actually, uh, yesterday. We, we watch um, quite often um, Room 101 on TV. I don't know if, you, if, if you're in the UK, you probably know what Room 101 is. If you're not, I don't know whether you get that in other countries. But it's basically a programme where you can go on, what celebrities will go on, and send to Room 101 things that they don't like. So they go to Room 101 and they're never going to be seen again. And I was saying to Gary yesterday, I was listening to the news, and I said, you know, if I, was, if I could put something into Room 101, it would be people who sing as they're talking because I was listening to quite a serious um, news article about um, oh, hooligans, basically. Um, and the presenter was talking like, 
and it was very dangerous on the streets and um, and the police were called and the police came and the police had to step back a little bit and they were bombarding the shops and there were riots on the street and just, just talk properly just keep it down and tell us you know, give us the information about what's happening without the talking like this at the end of every sentence and it was really bugging me and you know how um, the more you hear something the more it really annoys you um, Gary was saying he was listening to somebody in the car that was talking like that and I had to switch it off because it was so annoying. But I just thought, what would you send to Room 101? If you're given the choice of anything, anybody, and they're not anybody, so that's not nice, um, but anything, and any, any sewing machine, any experience, any, anything you don't like, just be interested to know what, you'd, what would you send to Room 101? <laughs> yeah, it's not the kind of sing song I like, though, Cher. It, it, it was bugging me. Hello, I listen in Faf Town. A bag organizer. I've done a bag organizer. There is a bag organizer on YouTube, actually, Vivian. Um, hello, Judy in Germany. Small to carry around. Well, this one. Yes, yeah, it's a desk organizer. I wouldn't carry it around. <laughs> um, No, no, oh, 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 the, uh, sorry, your messages are coming through so quickly, I can't read them all. Hi, Christine and Barry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that, that was my little bugbear. What's yours? Oh, COVID. Now, you can't beat that, can you? That's, that's the end of the conversation. Then. Of course, COVID has to go to room 101. Um, wind, chi wind chimes, really? Wind chimes, that can be quite pretty. Teenage daughter. I think, Christine, there must be a lot of teenagers in room 101. Um, hi, Nat. Oh, millipedes. <laughs> Karabo would say, oh, millipedes to Room 101. Bad news, that's a good one. A Saturday tutorial for an advent calendar. That's a good idea. Might, might, be, might be a long one. Send bikes on pavement. Oh, Jenny, bikes on pavements. Yes, definitely. Um, coat hangers in 101. What are you going to hang your coats upon, though? <laughs> The world unprecedented. Okay. Right. Should we do some sewing? I'm just going to make a really simple double pocket purse. I've forgotten my measurements already, and I didn't even use that. Um, so let me show you what I'm using. Right. So the back and the flap and the front pocket. I'm using two of the brand new organic fabrics. I'm with you on that one, Jane. Alterations into room 101. So these pieces actually measure nine inches across and they're 14 inches down and you'll need two of them. Mary, that's a good one. People who don't pick up after the dogs. Um, and then I've also got a piece of, um, this is Valiseline Light. And I've cut this slightly smaller than my pocket fabric is going to be, and I've rounded the corners as well. So it's, a, it, it's easier actually to cut this first before you stick it on because we're going to round the corners. Um, so let me measure this one for you because that's going to be easier, isn't it? So that's 13 and a quarter inches by 8 and a quarter inches. Now bear with me while I, whoops, while I just put my iron on, something's gone on the floor. Forgot to switch my iron on and need that. People who say I don't mean to offend, that's a good one. It's like um, it's like the word but, isn't it? The word but negates anything said before it. Oh, I love your hair, but is it? yeah. Um, so yes, I, I don't mean to offend. That can go in there, can't it? Because that means that you're going to offend somebody. Dog and cat, mum. Oh, sorry, you're talking to each other. Um, People who drop their masks as soon as they come out of a shop. Good one, Mary. <laughs> or people who wear their masks under their chin or under their nose, even. What's the point? Mice. Oh, no, I say I like mice. I don't know if I like all animals. Um, right, so I'm going to iron this to the centre. You could use a fusible fleece or something like that, but the seams down the sides are going to get a little bit bulky. So that's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had your wheelie bin, Nick Nigel. Who's Nick Nigel's wheelie bin? Um, so I don't want to sew through the interfacing, which is why I've left a bit of a border around there. 
and again I've rounded the top so all I did there that's the, that's where the flaps going to be I just rounded this bit um, just to mention as well a non-directional fabric would be best because the way it's going to work that's going to be a pocket and that's going to be a flap so you can see the fabric is going to be folded in opposite directions morning Marcy in Arkansas Nigel have you got a a posh bin that people just want. I, I, I tell you, <laughs> I tell you what you need to do is um, empty the cat litter tray in the bin a few times and spill it. No one's going to want to touch your bin, not even the bin men actually. Not not talking from experience there at all. Cyclists are allowed on the pavements to keep them off the roads, but do they have wider pavements? Or, I mean, so some of the pavements have actually got, over here, have got markings on them, haven't they? So the, there's half for pedestrians and half for bikes, which isn't so bad. Morning, Linda. Um, there will be more, oh, what have we got planned? I can't remember. There will be more clothes for the rag dolls. We, we do have a schedule for everything that's coming up in the next 12 months, and I can't remember what it's going to be. Right, so I'm just ironing this onto the wrong side of my fabric. Iron's really quickly actually. Nick Sue, put you down there. And then I'm just going to trim this back a little bit so it's even all the way around. Well that goes a little bit tight at the top, but that's okay. Okay, so I've got those two pieces. Those are the same size, and I'm going to sew those two right sides together. Then I've also got two smaller pieces, and these measure 9 inches across by 10 inches long. And then a plain piece, because that's a lining that's not going to be seen. So I've just kept a plain piece for that too. And people who are horn happy. <laughs> horn happy, Sarah. I like that. Um, so this is the way that it's actually going to look when it's put together um, so I'll have that there and that's going to be a pocket on the front and that's going to fold over to fasten it so it, it is really quite simple um, but it's fun because it's got a, a couple of um, separate pockets on the front I'm just going to round the corners of that lining piece off the same way as the, there we go, as the outer fabric, like so. Oh, don't, not saying please is a big one. I'm with you on that one. Right. So I'm going to put the magnetic snaps on at this point. So it needs to go on the outside of my pocket and on the lining of the flap. So I'm going to measure the halfway point across here um, and mark it. So that's eight and a half, eight and a half, nine inches. So that's going to be four and a half inches here. And that is two inches from the top. And I'm going to put the fatter part of the magnetic snap on that bit. So I know you've probably seen this before, but you're going to put the back of the snap over the mark that you've just made and draw two little lines and then take your quick on pick and make two very small holes all the way through the Decaville as well. With you on that one, Lynette. Right, so fatter part goes here. Put that through there. <laughs> Microchips for your bin, Nigel. What's the world coming to? You need a bin cam. Right, and the back goes on there. And we'll squish that open. When you hold the door open and someone walks, through, someone walks through without saying thank you, absolutely. Same as when you let cars um, pull in in front of you and you don't get the wave or your hazards or anything. So why did I bother? I'm going to put the second half here 
in the middle of the flap so I'm just creasing to form the center point and open and that's going to be an inch from the top so just the same as before two little holes there I'm just going to put a piece of scrap on the back of this one so just to make that oh, a little bit stronger so I'm just holding that in place with a bit of 505 spray that goes on the back of there let's go through here right. so then we will put the slimmer part on this one um, oh I've just had a text message from Kim to say the trees fabric has sold out um, is oh Kim if you're watching is that the bundles or is that all of it because we had some decide to sell by the yard and some decide for bundles because we could always put some that we'd set aside for selling by the yard into bundles if people wanted to do that. I shall leave that up to you, it's your website. Um, right, so I'm going to put the back on there. Um, there is more on order though, if you've missed out there is more on order. I knew you'd like that one. So that goes through there like that. That on there. Deck of light. I mean, Bridget, we, we sell it on the website, but it's a lot of money to export it to the US. They must sell Decaville Light in the States. Got it on Amazon. They can sell everything. Hello, Debbie Calva. Oh, well done, Jan France, for getting hold of yours. Hello, Sylvia in Germany. Um, right. Now we're going to sew. <coughs> And these two pieces right sides together I'm going to sew around the edge of my decaville so I know because you can see that's not quite square with the fabric um, but just so that I know that it is is right oh Susan how rude they can definitely go into room 101 so I'll just pop a few pins around here Hello Anupma from India, I'm glad you're loving the projects. I like that, and that. And I'm going to leave a little gap at the bottom so I can turn it the right side out. Then let's do the same with these two. So again, right, we're going to iron that, that's not, I don't like working with creased fabric, I don't know about you. Um, Morning, Deanna in the US of A, and Tony in the Netherlands. We're all over the place as well, aren't we? Oh, and Marie Hill says there's a Pelon product that is similar. I've not used Pelon before, but thank you for that. Hello, Hazy from India. Hazina, sorry, from India. Hello. Okay. Right, so again, right sides together. And we'll sew all around the edge. Leaving a gap again, I'm just going to put a few pins in. Um, I'm only pinning through the seam allowance because it's not the easiest thing to pin through, is this? Oh, Joanne Fabrics has Deck of a Light in the US. Thank you, Linda. Um... Uh, oh, 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 sorry, Miss G, let me just go back down, scrolling down. Uh, Patricia, if you're buying your granddaughter a sewing machine, have a look on my YouTube channel, because I, 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 haven't, I haven't done enough, to be honest. I started doing a whole series of teaching children to sew videos. Um, so they start off with, um, with hand sewing, um, and then the, I think the last, the last video I put on there was learning to use a sewing machine for the very first time and there is a project as well, I can't remember what it was, but there is a project aimed at children on there. I did make my own pressing mat, Jane, if you have a look in the videos on, on Facebook where you are now, it's on January the 2nd. Um, right, so let's just sew around here. So again, I'm literally, let me see if you can see that, I'm not very close on the upstairs camera, am I? 
literally sewing just around the edge of the decaville because I know that that was cut square. Morning, Sally Adams. So I just missed the corner there because I'm I'm looking at your comments as I'm sewing. Um, Loving the half yard bags and purses, but oh good, thank you, I'm glad you like those. Oh gosh, I'm quite way behind. Cereal bag makers are the best place in, I've never heard of cereal, I'll have to have a look at that. Cereal bag making is bag makers in the USA apparently. That's a good name for a store, isn't it? So yeah, sorry Lynn, it went practically straight away. Um, Kim did say that she's going to order some more. She's, she's, uh, she must be ordering, actually, because she's not answered me again. Um, so hopefully it'll be back in stock again next week. Sorry about that. We, we have hundreds of these, you know, but I, I didn't think that one would be popular. Right, so literally around the edge of the Decaville. You don't have to use the Decaville. You can use... It, it needs something, because otherwise you've just, you've just got a floppy purse. Um, but if you've got some firm interfacing, like dressmaking interfacing, um, or something like your H640s and H630s, then um, you can use that as well. Hello, Dominica in Portugal. Dominica? Um, right, let's chop off the corners. And again, I've left a gap in the bottom down here so I can turn it the right side out. Hello, Gina in Nova Scotia. So it's 7.30 a.m. I'm, I'm surprised you've seen us that early as well. It's, um, it's half past 11 here. Um, cereal bag maker. That, uh, uh, Debbie Cereal Bag Maker. Do you know my maiden name was Bagshaw? Funny how you end up <laughs> with a career that suits your name, isn't it? Um, right, let's turn this the right side out. There we go. I do make rather a lot of bags though, you see, you're right there. So, how many have we got on YouTube? Let me have a look. 324. We're getting busier on YouTube, aren't we? Um, the First Kids Project. Oh, yes, thank you. First Kids Project was a tote bag. Thank you, Denise. All right, let's turn this through. And poke out the corners. So I think that Decaville's lifted a little bit, but it'll go back down again when I press it. Oh, poked it a bit too hard there. Um, right, and this one. A hack for corners using a thread. Is that where you, you just sew into it and pull it through. Um, I prefer to poke it from the back to be honest. I've not, I've not tried that hack. Seems a bit time consuming when you can poke them out. A purse, using a purse frame in your bags. Can you remember, is there a purse you... Yes, I, oh, bags and purses. Oh, I don't know. I'm pretty sh... Bags and purses. No. It's in So Brilliant Bags. Um, there's a tutorial on how to to make your own pattern for a purse frame. To be honest, I've got one on YouTube as well. You don't have to pay for that. <laughs> Julian is five, five weeks late. What have you been doing, Julian? Do you use the bags you make? Some of them I use, Linda. A lot of them I give away. We've just had a big giveaway on Instagram. Um, some of them I give to charities who sell them. And some of them I just hang on to because they're pretty. Let's give this a press. My Daisy 66, that's not a problem. I'm uh, glad to be of help. Right, so just pressing this, so it's all nice and crisp. Angela's late. Um, I'm making a purse, Angela. It's a double pocket purse, so it's quite a simple thing. We always do a simple on a Saturday and a Wednesday, something where you don't need patterns and it doesn't take more than about an hour to make. Okay, so that's that. And then we'll do the same with the larger piece. So again, all the way around the edge, leaving a gap at the bottom to turn it the right side out. 5.30 in Chicago. 
<laughs> Julie, do go back to sleep. It's too early. Watch later. Uh, Buggies in Liberty Fabric. Oh, Leslie, Leslie's having a posh moment with the Liberty Fabrics. Okay, so literally around the edge of the deck of it. Got my pins in upside down. Not so easy to take out that way, are they? For a present, would you make a tote or a Japanese knot bag? Oh, I don't know, Linda. I kind of think maybe the Japanese knot bag would be nice. Because it's something a little bit different, isn't it? And it looks really complicated. But I, if I say so myself, I have devised an ingenious pattern, though. It doesn't make it complicated to do the handles at all. So you could impress with the Japanese knot bag. Oriflame twirl thread. I don't, I'm afraid. We do Gutterman, but we don't have Orifil. And at the moment, you never know. My daughter's watching. Um. Hi, Kitty. We do have the. Where are you? We do have the irons available on the website if you've got if you've got stock. But they're prim irons. They should be available all over the world. Right, so again, just up against the edge of the Deckerville, because I know I've cut that straight. And back down the final side. I could... I could do that. I could move it around a bit as well. Right, let's cut off the corners here. Three totes with inside pockets she used in fat quarters just this week. Diana, well done. I love making bags. Video of the wonky house uploaded for half yard club members. Yes. Yes, there is a video, Deirdre, for wonky house. Um, and I'm just going to snip into the, the curves here as well. Not through the seam, but just up against there to help that sit flat. Like so. And then we'll turn this the right side out. Left rather a small gap there. Good morning, Ms. Metz Douglas. It's 6.37 a.m. in Michigan. Whoops. When hand sewing the opening, do you use a double thread or single thread? I just use a single thread, Julie. Hazel, we like to, we like to be competitive with our prices, you know. All right, I just put my pushy corner out a thing um let's do that push those out so they're nice and square i will hand sew those clothes we've got plenty of time haven't we there we go whoops that deck of bills just lifted up in the corner again and then should have left a bigger gap really i'm in and then just push out the curves around here. With the round end of my pokey thing. And then let's give that a quick press. The coffee's going cold after my coffee in a minute. Um, a video for the box top. There is, there is, a, is there a video for the box top? I'm sure there's a video for the box top. That was the main project, wasn't it, last year? Mary Buckley. You've got a parcel on the way as well. Right, so let's fold that end over. Ooh, that's a little bit tight, but it's fine. Whoop. And just match up the edges here. Remember, this is some of the new um, organic fabrics that we've got on the website as well. We, we, we're trying to do our best. Um, I think Kim's been ordering some bamboo toweling as well, which would be quite nice. Oh, Patty, we're waiting. I don't know if we'll ever move. We're waiting for solicitors. We're waiting for searchers. We're waiting for inspections. We're just waiting. I reckon July. Um, right, there's needle and thread. 
In the pin cushion, probably. That one's too small. I don't like betweens, I don't know about you. Needles that are too tiny, I like them quite long, like that one. Thank you, Shirley. Oh, that would be nice, Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie's made a drawstring purse but made it bigger to fit my sock knitting. That's a good idea. Shall I do that again? There we go. <laughs> so I'm going to use a ladder stitch. and I'm just going to do this quite quickly because you don't listen watch me do this all day. So just taking a stitch to each side of that fold to close the opening. 741 in Atlantic Canada. I don't know what I'm doing next time actually. I, I only thought I'd do this this morning. I tend to wait um, Kelly until I, I see what fabrics we've got and then think oh now that would make a nice whatever. So but there's lots of bags and purses because they tend to be easy to make because um, these lives are only normally an hour long so we don't want anything too complicated. Um, yes, we have wooden handles on order, Deirdre. I wanted to mention that. I'm glad you brought it up. Um, I made a bag with one wooden handle last week. Kim thought it was hilarious. Um, so I will be doing a two-handled wooden bag when we get new stock in. And I did promise you a pattern for those wooden handles and I will be doing a pattern for a two-handled wooden bag. But you could use the one I made last week as a peg bag. Um, so yeah, there, there will be um, a video for that just as soon as I have some time to do it. That's a problem at the moment. Um, Susie, Susie, I don't have a ditty. I must get around to doing that. I was going to rewrite my lost ditties, wasn't I? So much to do. Okay, so that's that one. A storage box is quite easy. I'll try and think of something a little different, Angela, because there's a lot of storage boxes out there, aren't there? Um, I've got one on, on YouTube, actually. I'm sure there's storage box on there. So let me think if I can come up with something that's a little bit more unusual. Oh, Lisa's at some kind of class this morning, Chris. So she's took the... She's took? She has taken the day off. So it's just me and Kim today. Now then... Oh, it's there. I thought I dropped it on the floor. If I drop something on the floor down here, I'm in trouble because I can't, I can't reach anything. So we're doing the same here. And just, just a really quick little ladder stitch. You could probably sew this over on the sewing machine, but it's quite nice to do a little bit of hand sewing, isn't it? Oh, that's a good idea, Zell. Storage box with central dividers. Let's do that. Shall we do that? Oh, now not next Saturday. Oh, I haven't got the bag, have I? Next Saturday is going to be the Half Yard Club Facebook Live and that's when we're going to make that um, oval bag which if Gary happens to be watching in the house is next to my PC and it's the one with the Michael Miller scissor fabric on it when, when you come down with my coffee if you happen to be watching but it's not watching. Um, yeah it's the bag that's kind of a, an oval that way and an oval that way with the zip on the top it's quite a big one. Um, and that's going to be a sewer. Actually, it's, if you're on Facebook, or even if you're not, or if you're a, um, if you're a subscriber on YouTube, you should have had an email um, saying what we're doing next Saturday. So that's going to be a sew along. Um, the ingredients that you need, I've posted to subscribers on YouTube, and they're on both my Facebook channels as well, Facebook pages as well. Um, so if you want to get your materials and have a sew along, then do. If you wanted to sew along with the scissor fabric that I used, then um, it's almost sold out, so be quick for that one. Um, but two, two half meters should be fine for that. I do need to add, actually, you'll need a ruler and a marking pen and your iron at the ready as well, but I'll, I'll, add, to, I'll add that to the post. Hello, Malika in India. Um, so that's going to be next Saturday. Maybe we could do a storage box on Wednesday. How's that? With dividers. A jewellery wipe's a nice one, Diane. We could do that. Actually, just bear with me a sec, because I've actually bought a pad down here with me. 
because my memory these days is just ridiculous. Um, by the time I leave here, I've forgotten what I was going to be doing. So storage box and divided for Wednesday, and that was Zell. And then who said jewelry roll? Because where's my mouse? Because I do like to give you a credit. there up behind my cup. I was just going crazy. Um, jewelry wrap, Diane. Wrap, Diane. Ideas. Okay, so I'm making, I'm making a list. Um, what was that? Hello, Debbie. Hello to you too. Maker at brush roll. Same kind of thing, isn't it? That's a good idea. Came canvas, stone cold. Um, canvas paint brush holder is nice. Made some for art class. That's a nice idea. Thank you, Moth Peg. Couldn't see it. Old uh, Susie wants a ditty. It's a ditty. Bernadette goes to art on a Wednesday. That's nice. <laughs> okay, let's put this thing together. So this is what we have at the moment. Um, so I am going to, let me just check my measurements. So that needs to go there, that's going to go there, that'll go there, that'll go there, and that'll go there. So that needs to go there, and that needs to go there, and that needs to go there. Okay, so putting these right sides together, I'm double checking as we go. Right sides together. And I'll just have a couple of clips. An easy bear or doll. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Bear or doll from Leslie. Is Lisa in room 101? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 we'll never know, will we? Well, let's see if she turns up next week. Um, hello, Milky from Japan. Welcome along. Now then, so I'm just clipping that because it's going to be too thick to sew, and I want to make sure that all of these edges are matching up nicely, so it's not twisted or anything. And then I am going to take my erasable ink pen oh there it is I've got ink in this one and I'm going to draw a box um, which measures six inches across and three inches up so one two three inches up and about six inches across that doesn't have to be set in stone And then like that and like that okay and I'm going to sew up there across there and down there through all layers hello Elaine in Panama City a dog coat oh I don't I, I, I don't do dresses a dog coat might be quite a nice idea dog coat Claire a pencil case. Oh, I've seen those before, Katie. Push down pencil case. Pencil case from Daisy. And I like to figure out how to do things, though. I don't like to just copy what somebody else has done. And I think there are a few of those on YouTube already. So I'll have a look and again, see if we can come up with something a little bit different for it. Right. I'll have a look through all your comments afterwards. I've got lots of project ideas coming through and I'm missing them because the comments are going through so quickly. Uh, right, so. I'm thread out of the way. Some 
show you what I'm doing. If you can see what I'm doing. And then back down this side. There we go. Then we can take these out, put those back on the box. And right. And then we're going to fold this like that. And we're going to tidy up my mess again. I'm, I'm on a little bit wider than I normally am, so you can see all my bits and bobs. And then this folds over like that. So that's going to fold over like that, and that's what my purse is going to be like. So I just need to sew down the sides now. So I'll just do that again, because that could be a bit confusing. So I've got the two pieces right sides together. So that's the outside of my pocket and the outside of my purse. Sew around in a box, three inches up and six inches down. And then we're going to fold the pocket down and then fold the whole thing over and turn it upside down so we've got that. And then we need to sew along these side pieces. So I'm going to move this out of the way and clip it. And move this one out of the way and clip it. And just sew down the edge here. In fact, I'm going to go all the way around and back down there as well. So let's reverse backwards. And sewing really close to the edge, so maybe an eighth of an inch away from the edge. And then top stitch all the way around the top. I've gone all quiet while I'm concentrating. Oh, I'm glad you like the fabric, Sarah. This is the, it's the new organic fabric on the website. Around the curve. Thought I'd missed a bit. I'm back down this side. I'll show you close up in just a sec. You can make this into a clutch bag as well, so you, you could experiment and make it longer and thinner, like a, like a baguette bag. So we've got that. And then let's take these clips out. And that goes out of the way while we sew down these sides. Glad you like it, Gina. Oh, and there you go. It's one of those things that, you know, I'd, I've forgotten all about. I think I'm, I made one of these. Is it on YouTube? I can't remember if I put it on YouTube. Um, years and years ago, and I was thinking this morning, what can we make today? And then I saw the fabric and I thought, that's a purse. And then I was, I was, I'm sure it might have been from a magazine. You certainly could make this as cork fabric, Shelley. That would look really nice. Um, so I've sewn down there, so I've got two separate pieces here. And then let's move the back of that one out of the way and sew this side here. And then we're just about finished. that's that so again it's really quite simple um, that's it so magnetic snap to close it uh, let me snip off those end bits there make that nice and neat like to be tidy 
with actually now three pockets on the inside because you've got another one there. I've got another loose thread here, look. What am I like? So you've got three pockets on the inside, a little one in the middle. Um, you could actually, if you, if you did your sums beforehand, you could make um, another secure pocket by putting another magnetic snap or actually after, you could even sew on a Preston or a piece of Velcro um, and seal in that one in the middle. But it's a really simple bag. Now you could make that, I'm thinking, just looking at the size of it, maybe a little bit bigger and um, use it for baby wipes. Be handy, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I hope you like that. Rather chuffed with that. Um, right, thank you, Sherry. I'm just catching up with all of you. I'm th I, was, I was thinking actually, um, w when I thought I'll, I'll do that, I'll just do this really simple one, um, Sylvia. So I bet someone's going to say, How do I put a zip in that? And I don't think you can. I don't think that's zippable at all. Um, and where would you put straps for any. Um, hmm. I don't know what, you'd have to put the strap somewhere down here to make it balanced, wouldn't you? I'll tell you what, you can, oh, there's a thought, now then, um, you know before we did the, the, the square bit, you could trap a little loop of ribbon inside the seam here um, with, a, with a tiny D-ring and then put a chain on it, then that would be balanced, wouldn't it, because it told it right in the centre. That's a good idea. Okay, so that's that. Let me catch up with your messages. Um, and we're, oh, that was that was pretty good timing, wasn't it? Just within the hour as well. Um, okay, so where do you put handles? Yeah, Bridget, I'd do that. I think I think you'd have to do that, or you could. Well, I'm completely redesigning something now. Um, put a handle on the top, not a strap, but a handle, so it's like a little briefcase kind of thing, so you can hold it like that. Um, but I think it's more of a purse than anything. That's going to end up as a giveaway, isn't it, at some point? Um, Pamela made the dog door stop last Thursday. Oh, that's, I'm glad that turned out well. Thank you. I'm way behind with your messages again. I'm so, sorry about that. Sarah, the cushion behind me. Is that the rich cushion? Oh, this one. That was a tutorial. Um, on Facebook, can't remember where we did it. But if you have a look at the videos on my Facebook page, um, there's thumbnails with pictures of all of the projects on there, and that's definitely on there. Um, thank you, Cher. A man's wallet, that's a good idea. Yeah, no, no reason why not for a man's wallet. Make it a bit smaller, I think, because they tend to stick them in the pockets, don't they? Um, oh, it, it was easy, Catherine. Um, oh, Linda, I hope you get better soon. Thank you, thank you for your comments. I really appreciate that. A third pocket. You could. Do, I don't see why you couldn't do it with three pockets. Might have a play with that sometime. Thank you, Helen. Lovely. Okay then. Um, Elizabeth made a messenger bag yesterday. Thank you, Susie. I shall see you on Wednesday as well. Hello, Kathy in California. Okay, we're just about out of time now. So I shall see you again um, Wednesday, if you're around at two o'clock in the afternoon on YouTube, my website, and on Facebook as well. Um, otherwise, next Saturday, remember, is going to be a sew along on my Facebook page and on YouTube as well. So do take a look um, at the ingredients that you need, the materials that you need, if you want to have a sew along with me. There will be a zip involved, but it's actually quite easy. Um, the bag on my right, oh, which one? The one at the top, can you see that one? That is um, one of the projects on Facebook. So we made that live. Um, the stripy bag is from my new book, Half Yard Summer. There is a tutorial for that on the Search Press Facebook page. And this bag is a Half Yard Club members project, so you need to be a member for that one. Um, okay, there's you a kimono bell. Oh, that's a nice idea. Um, I'll have a look through all of your suggestions as well and see what we can come up with for the next few weeks. Um, happy anniversary, Kathy. 45, 45th anniversary today. Wow. Huh. Um, right, so I'll see you again Wednesday. So take care. Enjoy uh, the rest of your weekend. Um, and um, I shall see you again very soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been fun. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.